All right, hello everyone. So today I'm gonna to be making a mobile game and hopefully I'll get a, a, a zillion dollars from this because these games make so much money while also being the stupidest games ever. Like what? Oh, wh which one do I choose? Oh, oh, is it the minus two speed or the plus four speed? Like, <laughs> okay. So without further ado, let's jump right into Roblox Studio. Before we get started, I need to choose what type of mobile game I want to make. So I looked up mobile game ads to, you know, get, just get some inspiration and stuff. We have uh, this, this image is certainly an option. <laughs> okay, this is more of what I was thinking. Like one of those games where you play as a whole and you just have to swallow things to get bigger. That would be kind of interesting to make in Roblox. Um, Yeah, yeah, I, I think I'm gonna do that. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> and all right, it looks like we have a brand new blank canvas right here. So to get started, I need to make the player, which is a, um, this is going to be a very challenging model to create. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> okay, so this is what our player is going to look like. But if we play the game, we'll see that the player still, um, still appears as a human, which we cannot have, obviously. So I'm probably going to go about that by attaching this to the player and just making the player invisible. So I'm going to go do that real quick. If we duck. Does this work? We should be invisible. <sighs> we should be invisible. <gasps> what the heck? <laughs> okay, we are really invisible this time. <gasps> we did oh my god v dot face destroy there we go okay finally <laughs> so now that our player is clear we just need to attach this to the player somehow um hmm Alrighty, i set up the code so that the player should become um the you know the little whole thing so if you run the game bum ba da bum <gasps> oh, it's beautiful, except it can't, it's, uh, it can't suck up objects yet, but that's perfectly fine. Um, that worked way better than expected. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to turn the whole collision off just so that it can, like, swallow things, you know? And lastly, let's make it suck. Things. Okay, let's, let's do that. Alrighty, so we have quite the lineup over here, and let's just say I'm uh, I'm feeling quite hungry. So you know, l let's try and eat some of these. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> no! Oh no! I um, I um, I accidentally made the uh, the hole grow vertically, you know, as well as um, horizontally. So that throws a little teensy weensy wrench in my development plans. I gotta go fix that. Okay, I think we have everything under control. I also made it so that it doesn't grow at a uh, alarming rate um, and it shouldn't grow vertically anymore. So let's go uh, munch up these fine burgers right here. <gasps> it's beautiful. It's um growing in the wrong direction still. It's growing up, but... <laughs> <laughs> I, I love this sound, by the way. <laughs> I'm keeping this sound for the whole video. I'm sorry, guys. But <laughs> Okay, perfect. I think we have everything working. Yeah, look at that. The, um, the hole can only eat at a certain rate per second, which is actually kind of boring. So I'm just gonna... Um... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that, that that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, okay, so I need to make it so that um, other players can eat you if they're bigger. Kind of like Agario, if y'all have played that. So right over here, I'm basically going to make like an enemy hole just to test this out on. Let's, uh, let, let's give it a face just for aesthetic, aesthetic appeal. <laughs> okay, perfect. That's going to be our enemy. <clears throat> okay, I just whipped up some code right here. And basically, if the enemy hole, the op, if you will, uh, if the size is greater than yours, then um, you, uh, y you cease to exist. So let's zoom out to <laughs> see this interaction go down. Uh-oh, I'm coming in. Let's see what will happen to me. Oh, <gasps> perfect. Um, new bug encountered. We respawn as a human. That should be a pretty easy fix, though, so... 
Boop. Okay, good. All right, so we successfully implemented PvP. Um, there's eating to an extent. <laughs> We're basically done with the game, actually. Um, I need to cobble together a nice looking environment first though. So let's remove this kitchen tile thing and let's make this grass. Perfect. And now what I want to do is add more stuff that you can eat. So, you know, burgers just get boring after a while. There's so much more you can consume, like chairs, like houses, buildings, children. Alrighty, so I added some uh, NPCs that you can eat as the whole, and I would like you to meet them. So here's the family. Woohoo! <laughs> oh my god, sorry. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so you might be wondering why two of them are perfectly normal humans and one of them is, um yeah uh, so <laughs> i just wanted to make them all different sizes so that if you're a smaller hole you can you know e you can eat some children but if you're larger you can tap into the adult population as well so i don't know i just thought i should have some variety with these guys um i also added some code so that a bunch of random meshes from the toolbox spawn in so you can just eat like literally anything on here it basically taps into the whole library so you'll see some pretty strange objects that you can eat but yeah i'll just run the game and we will see see what we got going on here so so yeah um um oh yep this is the most diverse platter of food you'll ever see there's everything from toilets to horses but yeah you can i can just i kind of made it so that you grow a little too fast so yeah like i'm already at a point where i can eat saturn yeah <laughs> And you will notice this starts to cause some issues. <laughs> um, I didn't think whole games would be so complicated to program, but I can't like re-attack objects so they'll like float on top of me. As you can see, my size is getting a little bit out of control. I think it's just growing on its own at this point. I'm so huge, I can't even see the end of me. Oh yeah, well, yep, what a lovely noise. I'm literally just eating everything. I think we might need to rebalance that growth speed let's make it a third of what it was that should that should fix that okay okay that's a lot more reasonable of a growth rate look at that look how the people move <laughs> um listen i hate to break this to you all but i did not put the largest amount of effort into the people in this game <laughs> get back here you yum <laughs> but yeah this is starting to look like a real mobile game i um I want to implement those like super dumb looking gates that have like the blatantly obvious path and then the like really really bad path because <laughs> those are a staple of every mobile game ad and I think we need to have that somehow so if we go over here and place down a part and make it really big on the right side we'll have the blatantly trash option the half time speed <laughs> and then we can put like this sign on the right the uh, the good the good option and then all the two year olds playing will be like oh which one do I pick? <laughs> Which one do I choose? Oh my gosh, it's working. Oh, which side is better? I don't know. Oh no, maybe red. Maybe red. Red's my favorite color. This has to be the right answer. Oh, oh crap. Wait, I did not mean for it to do that. <laughs> um... We're, we're slower now and also a little, uh, <laughs> a little, um, let's turn the collision off for these guys. All right, they should be good to go. And I think I'm just about wrapped up with this game. Um, I'll publish it on the group, but leave it up for like one day because it's kind of a, uh, embarrassment to my whole reputation. <laughs> but if you want to play it, y'all better hurry because this will not be up for long. This is my group, by the way. Uh, you should join it and things. Anyway. I almost forgot to add microtransactions, which is in every mobile game, and I need to have it because of that. Let's make a developer product. Kicks everyone. LOL. Price. One Robux. <laughs> um... I I'll let y'all play with that. Um, <laughs> I decided I wanted to be generous with the uh, with the prices, you know, so you really can thank me later. It, it really is all right. But yeah, I, I mean, I think I did a pretty a pretty swell job making one of those whole games. I've always wanted to try and code that. The mechanics weren't too hard to get over. There was a lot of bugs, obviously, but you know, it, it was fun. It was fun. That, that's gonna be the icon. I don't have any images, so th there you go. What genre is this? You know, um... 
I think you can make an argument for it being horror. <laughs> nope, and it's public, so um, try, try not to have too much fun, guys. <laughs> See ya.